Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is the first week of August. Let's go ahead and get right into my budgeting for this week. Okay, so we will be finishing out the end of July. This week is going to be starting from the 28th of July through the 3rd of August, which is today. I just ran downstairs to get the iPad <laughs> out of breath. Okay, so let me grab oh my stickers. Hold on. Okay. So the first thing that I purchased on the 28th was a birthday present for my cousin. I'll be doing her birthday next week and my aunt had sent over a couple things. Well, I had asked and then she sent over a couple things that she wanted. So I did purchase a birthday present. Next up, I purchased some new moisturizer. I went to the dermatologist um, on the 21st and they had recommended a few things so I went and grabbed a new moisturizer. Also on the 28th while I was at Target I grabbed some tea for my fiance and some cookies for myself. So grabbed that and then that was it for the 28th on the 29th um actually that was the 30th that we did that why, why are my days off yes the 30th so on the 30th i did end up taking my cat to the vet he's okay he just has a sensitive stomach so when his belly gets really upset, he just like can't stop until they give him like a shot or something to help him. So I had to do that. And then also on that day, my fiance got like put gas in the car, but that's like one of my bills that I pay. So I just sent him money for that. And that is, oh wait, beauty stuff. On Sunday, I did purchase a couple of things for like I purchased shampoo a couple of bottles like to refill some things and that's going to come out of beauty but we're not going to take care of this until um two weeks from now that is finally it for July so I did have a no spend on Friday the 29th which is exciting I don't have those stickers let's see where are those stickers Found. Ripped. All right, so there we go. No spend there. Okay, moving into August, we are going to try to do things a little bit differently for August. I'm going to track things a little bit better. And I have decided that I won't be sharing any of like my wedding purchases just because those are coming out of a different account and it's just like kind of messing with my flow of things. So I'm going to write down purchases as they come and we will only be putting um, like my actual purchases in here and then what was the other thing? My no spends. My no spends will be on any day where I don't spend money from like my spending category. So if I spend out of a sinking fund, that is okay because that money was already allocated for that. So that is just how I'm planning to take care of things, make it a little bit simpler and just kind of <laughs> let it let it be what it is. If I spend from a sinking fund, it's okay because that money was already allocated for whatever purpose that was. So finishing the week on Tuesday, I ordered the cat litter. And I did have it delivered because they had 15% off if you had it delivered. So I went ahead and ordered cat litter. Um, we did pay rent. Um, on the second, I got Popeyes last night. I just really wanted it. I didn't eat very much. Uh, uh, Oh my gosh, let me back up. 
I didn't eat very much throughout the day because I wasn't feeling very well and then I had to work at Michael's so I wasn't able to like eat dinner so I just picked up Popeyes on the way home and that will be my spending um, money from there and then oh I definitely wrote that all messed up these printed weird and so there's like a line halfway through them and I can't tell where the actual stickers are And this was, so this has not happened yet, but from my death sugar fry sinking fund, I will be getting Chick-fil-A tonight. I already know my order, so I went ahead and filled that in. And that is everything for the week. So for here, I'm going to go ahead and put a no spend on Tuesday the 1st. And a no spend for today because, again, this is coming out of a sinking fund and that money was already allocated for that. Okay, so we are working with the paycheck for the fourth. I did get my pay stub and I have um, $1,104.48 for this paycheck. I did go ahead and zero, um, zero out this paycheck, so I put in an odd number into my spending account just to... Um, Put that at like a zero base budget. But let's go ahead and get into everything. So I'm going to come over to my sinking fund checkbook and put in everything that's going to be going in for this. So gas, we'll be getting $80. That is in my personal binder. Oh, I do have some receipts. I have a couple more downstairs. I forgot to grab them, but I'm going to scan these into Fetch Rewards. If you're interested, my code is down below. So gas is getting $20, $40, dollars $80. Grocery is getting $85. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five. Spending is getting sixty-three, nineteen. Which will put us at sixty-three. Twenty, forty, sixty, one, two, three. Beauty is getting five. Death Sugar Fry is getting 20. This is my envelope for when I have my period. I only have it a few times a year. Um, I've talked to my doctor, we're all good. But I typically really want sugar, fries, salty things. I don't want anything that's from my house and I always wanna order out. So I put money in there for that. We'll be coming back to this in a second. Beans is getting 65. Twenty, forty, sixty-five, and they should already have some. I'm just doing it this way to get my brain organized. We'll come back to a few of these. I know it's weird. And then the honeymoon is getting broken up a little bit. It's gonna get five today. And then it's going to get $1.95 later. So I'm just going to put that in there. And we will deal with that at the end of the month. Alright, I forgot to do two of these. Gas, grocery spending, beauty, 
beans. Just completely missed putting these in here. Beans got 65. And Death Sugar Fry got 20. Okay, so I'm going to go back through, sorry if this is annoying, and take everything out that I have spent. So, uh, gas, I will take me out $53.55. I don't know why I did it this way in this video, but it just is what it is. So, gas should have $33. Twenty, thirty, one, two, three. Grocery, I'm taking out six seventy eight. Grocery should have eighty nine. Twenty. Why does grocery have eighty nine? 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> 80, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 20, 40, 60, 85, 6, 7, 8, 9. I should not have done it this way. I'm just confusing myself. Beauty is not getting anything taken out right now. My death sugar fry envelope. I'm gonna be spending uh, 1753. So it's gonna to get to two dollars. Okay. That's it there. I'm filming on my lunch and so I have more time between like when I film and when I need to post so I have more time to edit so I feel I've been filming on my lunch but I think I'm feeling rushed and so I'm like doing things out of order um, okay short term beans I need to take out 6301 I need to take out more than that because I also bought litter. I need to take out $99.55. So the beans will now have $9. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's it in here. Oh, do you see what the problem is? Okay, for my spending. I need to take out sixteen eleven. So now I have forty seven. Twenty, forty five, six, and seven. All right. Long term, Target, I need to take out 2308. Okay, so then Target has 21. Okay, we have gotten through purchases. Now let's look at the budget and see what we have going on. So I went ahead and did the sinking funds. I feel off today, I'm just feeling off. My city subscriptions come out automatically. I'm gonna check those off. My phone will come out automatically. We get to, to pay. 650 on my discover so let's grab that and update that total 
Okay, so our Discover is currently at $3,879.37. We will be paying $650. I really, really, really wish that I had an extra $229 so that I could get this under $3,000, but next month. So our Discover current balance, our last credit card, oh, we're getting so close, $3,229.37. This should be around $3,200 by the end of the month because I'll put my cash back towards it. So we're looking pretty good but I cannot wait to get this under three thousand dollars okay friends that is it for this video I hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for watching August is going to be a better month it's going to be great I can feel it let me know your goals for August and how your budgeting is going so far I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching